Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Ben from ShouldIGetIt.com, the photos and stuff channel. And in this video, we're going to be editing this photo of Kayla into this image right here using a couple tools in Capture One Pro 20. This update came out today. I actually switched from Lightroom to Capture One Pro 12 about a month, month and a half ago. Now I've upgraded to Capture One Pro 20 and I'm making a series of tutorials while I learn so I can share that with you guys as well. So in this series, I'm gonna basically be using a lot of the shoot with Kayla that I did a couple months back and I'm gonna be re-editing everything in Capture One Pro 12 and I'm gonna show you how I did it with the following images. So here we're gonna start with uh, this image kind of as our final goal. It might look a little bit different, but I'm gonna show you how to edit the skin tones, do the color grade, layer masks, things like that. And to start, we're going to get the raw image. So here is a image fully straight out of camera. This is reset. The only thing I have done is the lens corrections here. So I fixed the chromatic aberrations. You can do a diffraction correction. Won't do much in this image. And we are gonna move into the exposure tab first. So I'm gonna just brighten this up a little bit. You can see the image there. Add a tiny bit of contrast and you'll see we're gonna add contrast through various measures in this. So not too huge of a deal right now. The next way we're gonna do that is by bringing the highlights down. So we're just gonna add a little bit of dynamic range and bring the shadows up. But I'm also gonna bring the blacks down here and you can see that added a bit of contrast. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is grab my levels and bring the blacks down a little bit. So grab them from the bottom left. We're gonna slide towards the right. And you can see we have a little bit more contrast there. And then we can also bring the whites and brighten them up. And there we are. So the image already has gone from this right here to a much contrastier image, and I think that looks much, much better. Now the next thing I wanna do is add some more red saturation to this dress to really make this dress pop. I think it is a beautiful piece. It's basically the inspiration that we had to go and do the shoot. I really like the color of the red, and so we are going to adjust the saturation on that. Now we're gonna move into the color tab. If you don't have this, just right click and add tool tab, click color, it'll be there. And if you wanna move your tabs around, just a quick tip, hold command, and then move the tab wherever you want. I have my exposure first and my color second, and then exports in the last, uh, last you know, kind of options. So anyways, we're gonna go down right now to the um, color editor. We're just gonna go to basic, and I'm going to zoom in and select the red of the dress. So let's select red right here. You can see if I drag to the right, that'll change the hue. So this is much more orange. If I drag to the left, it's gonna turn basically purple. I think it actually looks really cool in purple, maybe in a different setting, a little bit more urban, uh, that would be really cool. But I'm gonna leave it where it's at. So to reset, I'll double tap. But I do want to increase the saturation of the red. So again, I'm gonna grab and then bring the slider up to increase the saturation. Now, one thing that you'll notice is if I zoom into her face, the saturation also affected some of her skin tones here. So you can see that it affected the reds there and I don't want it to be doing that. So what I'm gonna do is actually just create a layer mask for the dress and do it on there. So I'm going to create this layer here and I'm gonna hit fill mask. So you can see the selected area is now here. And then what I'm gonna do is do the same adjustments. So I'll click M to turn off the mask. We'll grab the red of the dress and increase the saturation. There we go. And you can see it increased the red in her skin here and on her face and on her nose. So what I'm gonna do is just hit the erase tool and zoom in. And you can see that I can simply erase those adjustments. So it'll bring it back down to zero. This is exactly how the image looked. So we'll get the red out of the glasses on the skin here. And there we have it. So that was super, super easy. Now you can see when we turn that layer on and off, that is the red of the dress and it pops much more now. So I can double click in this red dress and we have that there. If it was too strong, we could also just control the opacity and turn that up and down right there. So that is very cool. Next, what I'm gonna do is even out the skin tones a little bit. So you can see if we zoom in, it's a little bit brighter right here in this area and goes a little bit darker. And then we have kind of the same thing going on uh, on her face where we have the spot on her nose where it's a little bit darker. It looks like uh, maybe she got a little tan going on, you know, a couple weeks before the shoot and we're just gonna even this out. So to do that, I'm going to again, create a new layer and I'll call this skin tones. And I'm gonna do the same thing with a full layer mask. So I can either fill the mask or actually, you know what, I will just paint this area, whoops. So we're gonna grab the brush tool 
and use the bracket keys to make the brush bigger or smaller. Click M and that way you can see the area that you have selected. So I'm just going to paint over her face here. There we go. And then go down. And I want to make sure I get as little of the dress as possible because the dress does have, of course, red in it. So does skin. Uh, skin has a red undertone. So I'm just going to carefully brush right here. And in about 30 seconds, we have our simple layer mask made. So there we go. We have that. If we want to refine it, we could. Uh, but I'm going to leave it as is, and I think that'll be okay. So we'll press M. Whoops, let me actually erase this from the hair a little bit. There we go. And then brush here. And there we are. So now you'll see if we grab the Skin Tones Editor, we can select a color for the skin. So I'm going to zoom in here. And I think uh, this lighter area for the skin is kind of what we want to go for. And now I can control the hue of her skin. So you'll see that here. I can make it more green. I can make it more magenta. So I'm going to leave it a little bit on the magenta side. I can also bring up the brightness. So I'm going to bring it up right there. And I can increase or decrease the saturation. So you'll see if we increase, we have a lot of red and orange. If we decrease, she's going to look very pale. So I'm just going to decrease it a tiny bit. And then what you can go down and do is select the uniformity. So if we wanted everything to be more even in terms of how bright and dark it is, we could create uh, you know, the lightness being 100% even, but then we don't have much texture to the skin. So I'm going to leave this maybe around 30, and then we could do some uniformity in the hue so it doesn't change as much between orange and red, and it stays a little bit more even. So you can see this is before the skin tone adjustment, this is after. There we are. And the last thing I'm going to do is show you how to add a color grade to the image, again using a layer mask. So I'm going to call this layer color grade. And I'm going to fill the entire layer. So let's do fill mask. If I press M, you'll see the whole thing is red. And I'm going to go a little bit extravagant with the level of colors here. But this is just going to be kind of an example to show you how to do it. So we're going to go to shadows. And most people, you know, do the teal and orange look. I am a fan of that as well. So we can choose what color we want in our shadows. So to do teal and orange, we are going to select blue right here. Keep in mind, it's right down here. So imagine a straight line, which means our highlights should be right here between the yellow and green. Now, if you want to change how saturated the shadows are, you can select this slider on the left side. And if you want to change the brightness to add even more contrast, you can bring the shadows down or up like so. So I'm going to bring the shadows down a little bit, make sure the color is fully saturated. And there we are. So you can see right now, we've just added a lot of blue to the shadows. It looks pretty cool. We're going to even that out by going right across for the complementary color. So we are going to go up here into the yellows and greens. I want it a little bit more yellow. Again, same thing. You can bring the highlights up and down. I'm going to bring the highlights up a little bit. And I don't like that yellow very much. So I'm going to bring the saturation down here. And now we have a color grade applied to this image. Now, the last thing I want to do is I think the color grade is a little bit too strong. It made her skin too blue looking. I could go back and adjust the skin. Or if I want a less strong color grade, I can just turn the opacity down. And there I have my image. So again, if we make a clone of this image right here, so we're going to do a clone variant. And then we reset. You can see that that was the image originally. And this is our final image now in less than 10 minutes. So that is my first tutorial using Capture One Pro 20. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any tutorial requests, leave a comment down below. If you wanna see behind the scenes of photo shoots, I'm glad to film my shoots and share those tips with you guys as well. I hope you subscribe, leave a comment, if you have any specific questions, you want to send me examples, hit me up on Instagram at Ben Photography, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.